So unless you've all been living in a cave, I'm sure you all know the name Tommy Robinson. And I guess since this video is on my channel, you probably know the name Jada Franson. And I am certain that every single one of you knows the name Donald Trump. These are just a few people that have been demonized for criticizing Islam. But how many of you know the name Jolene Bunting? Well, this time last year, I was in a prison cell completely oblivious to the fact that this was going on in the outside world. Irish Councilwoman Jolene Bunting, who was suspended from the Belfast City Council for four months for criticizing Islam and bringing up pressing issues regarding mass immigration. Jolene is the first elected representative in the United Kingdom to be threatened with disqualification on the grounds of her political opinion. Not because of anything that she's done, but because of what she believes and what she says. And what this is, it's another, it's another piece of the jigsaw of the clampdown on freedom of speech and on the totalitarianism that we're just sleepwalking into in the UK. So councillor Jolene Bunting, who's an independent unionist councillor on Belfast City Council, I believe. And uh, Jolene is kind of at the centre of uh, a bit of a media storm. And it's really relevant to everyone watching this broadcast because it's about free speech. Just process that for a minute. This is a duly elected councillor who lost her seat for criticising Islam. This was a political campaign by Jolie's opponents such as Sinn Féin to have her removed from her seat and they relied upon the fact that the UK is now Sharia compliant. Regardless of the fact that Jolene was elected by the people of her constituency to represent them, she lost her seat because of some complaints made by her opposition. So let's have a look at some of these complaints, shall we? Well, the first of which was that Jolene dared to hold an anti-terror rally outside Belfast City Hall, to which she invited me to give a speech. Jolene lost her seat over holding an anti-terror rally. Let's look at another complaint. Jolene held a public viewing of the film Can't We Talk About This? Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with this film, it features the likes of Pamela Geller, Gert Wilders, Robert Spencer, Ezra Levant. These are all conservative political dissidents who have exposed the concerted effort by international organisations to compel the US and other Western countries to curtail freedom of speech and criminalise criticism of Islam. A growing number of us here in the UK have experienced this firsthand after having been censored and removed from any kind of online presence. Well, as a result of Jolene showing this film to the public, she was removed from her seat. In another complaint, Jolene and I filmed a short piece outside an Islamic centre in Belfast, during which I described the mosque as a den of iniquity. Jolene lost her seat for standing beside me in that video and not condemning me. Now, just keep in mind that here in the UK, in Northern Ireland, there are elected representatives who have openly admitted to former membership of the IRA, the terror group that bombed the hell out of us for years. Jolene Bunting lodged an appeal to the High Court arguing that she was entitled to express an opinion and that as an elected representative, she should not be removed other than by her own constituents. I believe it's all completely undemocratic that as an elected representative, have been suspended and therefore unable to speak on behalf of my constituents in court DEA for three months now. Any document which stops an elected representative from expressing legitimate concerns cannot be something of any use to any governing body. I know there are many in this chamber who will never agree with my politics and I there. However, I believe that they have the right to express their point of view even though I totally disagree with it. So why am I not being afforded the same rights? My case is the first of its kind. The Commissioner has suspended me while he carries out the investigation. This is completely unprecedented. A councillor who was convicted of serious sexual assault on a teenage girl remained in office for over a year before eventually being kicked out. Uh, you, councillor, you need to watch Vren and the other cases in terms of processes which cases don't relate okay. to this case. So I'm advising you again, or at some point I'm going to have to ask you to sit down. She lost that appeal. So here we have it. The UK is fully Sharia compliant. And don't I know it, having just been convicted of several counts of hate speech just for quoting the Quran. But see, I wasn't elected representative. 
Jolene Bunting was a councillor. She had been chosen by her people. And just like we're seeing with Brexit, it just goes to show that the authorities in this country don't care what the people want. If you don't toe the line, you're out. So I'm asking you again to choose your words and what you're saying in your speech there very carefully. Contrast this to my case. I have broken no laws. I haven't been so much as questioned by the police. I simply spoke out about the two biggest and most dangerous problems I see facing us today, not just here in Belfast or the United Kingdom, but the entire Western civilization, Islam and immigration, and I'm treated worse than a convicted sex offender. Sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to sit down. Well, I want people to share this video far and wide. I think if this was any other nation that was removing elected officials from their seats because they criticised Islam, it would make headline news. But the UK want the rest of the world to know just how much they grovel to this ideology. So share this video and everyone throw your support behind Jolene Bunty. She is a true born patriot and deserves everyone's support.